Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Semu Emulator and use the best settings possible. Now first what we're going to want to do is open up your Google. We're going to type in the search Semu and go to the first link that pops up. And you want to scroll all the way down and then click on the blue link that says download the latest version. 1.12.2D. Since I've already downloaded that, I'm going to open that up right here. We're going to extract the files onto the desktop. And open up the file. And as you can see here, it's pretty bare. There's not much in here. Now back to my old file, there's a whole bunch more files in this one. What you're going to need is the keys and possibly the log. You definitely need the keys to have the semi running. You can just Google that. And also you're going to want some games to have it run. For now I'm just going to transfer over Mario Kart so we can have that there. Now from here on you just need to open up the app. And we can start configuring some of the stuff. You can configure game paths in the general settings. Before we do that, we're going to go into options, have the upscale filter at by cubic, full screen scaling. You can either keep it as the aspect ratio or you can stretch out the image. What I like to do is I'll just keep it as the aspect ratio. The GPU buffer cache accuracy, keep it at medium to keep it stable, keep it from fluctuating. Now, general settings. Then double click entry to let it know where the path of our games is going to be. In my example, I'm going to have it under desktop inside of that folder, and it's going to be right here in this folder itself. So like that and bam, the game will show up. Now, audio settings. You can have it at whatever volume you want, as high as it'll go or as low as it'll go. For now we're gonna have it right there. And the channels it only has stereo at the moment. Now on to input settings. It's one of the most crucial parts of the video entering in how you want to play the game. For example, what I like to do is I like to keep this on the Pro Controller. You got your keyboard, X input, direct input, and Wiimote. What I'm going to be using today is my Xbox One controller. So I'm going to put this on X input. And under controller, you're going to look for whatever is connected. My example is going to be this one. And then from there on out, you just button map the controllers. And of course, you're going to want to save this profile so that next time you open up Semu, you could just load it in. I'm going to click on save. It's going to save it. And there it is. You just exit out of that and continue on with the video. Now under experimental, you want to have enabled Breath of the Wild crash workaround if you're trying to play that game and it's crashing for no apparent reason. You want to have separable shaders checked and also 
RDTSC checked. Now enable online mode. As far as I know, that doesn't work very well unless you dump your actual Wii U into the computer. But for now, we just skip that part. Your console region, on the other hand, what I like to do is keep it on auto. And language, I'll keep it on English. On the CPU mode, you keep it on single core recompiler. That's fast and stable. The timer, just keep it on host based. It's recommended. Can't do anything with the NFC right now. And you don't want to mess around with anything to do with debug. And that's pretty much it. All we have left to do is just start the game. Now the first time you load up the game, it may or may not take a while. Depending on what type of computer and CPU you have. I'm going to put this on full screen now. And SEMU is also really well optimized, especially for Intel CPUs. Now the first time you load up the game, you're playing, racing on the track, the game itself might stutter a bit. That's just the shader caching. The more you play it, the more stable it'll become after a while. Alright, time to say goodbye, Peach. I'm just going to do one lap to show you that the game actually does run. And like I said, it only starts at the very beginning when you first start playing the game. But the more you play into it, the better it'll stable out its frame rate. And what I mean by that is you have to do a couple races, maybe like one or two Grand Prix, and then it'll just stable itself out at 60 FPS, depending on your CPU, of course. The fact that we've gotten technology this far advanced where we can emulate last gen console like the Wii U is pretty phenomenal. Hats off to the semi team for making this possible. See, even as I'm running in this first race, the game is getting more and more stable. It's all due to that shader cache. The more you play the game, the more stable it becomes. Now, if you want to know what my PC specifications are, I will leave those down in the description below. Alright, we are getting near the end of the video. 
If you would like, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment to my video. It would help out a lot. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.